Hi everyone, my name is Donna. Welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to show you how to search for mini charts for heaven and earth designs, uh, cross stitch patterns. The, these are full coverage patterns. So I'm going to do kind of a little mini series here on heaven and earth designs. This video is going to be how to search for the mini patterns, how to purchase them, and how to download them. Uh, my next video will be all about um, the EZ e PDF. It's an um, app that you can download. It's very inexpensive and it works wonderful for full co cover charts. And then my third video is going to be how I start my Heaven and Earth design cross stitch. So this first one is um, going to the Heaven and Earth Designs um, website. So you just, under your browser, just type in Heaven and Earth Designs. You can tell I've done this before. <laughs> so there it is. Now this has many charts and you can click on that if you want, but there is a better way to search for them and a lot more will pop up. So we are going to go right to Heaven and Earth Designs. And then the first thing you want to do is go to this login right here. And if you don't have an account, go ahead and set up a, an account. Just scroll down and fill out this information down here. And then just hit submit the information. But I already have an account, so all you have to do is enter your email address, your password, and hit sign in. So I am going to do that and I'll be right back. So today is October 31st and it is Halloween. So they are having a 50% off charts sale, which I like to watch for their sales, of course, so you can get more patterns for a cheaper price. So I am going to go ahead and close that. And I am logged in right now, so to search for mini patterns, just go right up here to the search bar, and I am going to type in mini, because as far as I know, all their uh, mini patterns start with the word mini. So it is going to bring up a lot of patterns. It's um, over 5,000. But what I am going to do, I am going to select items starting with M, which brought our products down to 2,600, a little over that. And as you can see, we're not in the mini category yet, so you can just over here um, select next. I think it's they start on about page three, but I will go ahead and hit, hit the next button. And one more time, let's scroll down a little bit. And here we go, the minis. The minis are starting right here. So you can just um, scroll through and see which ones you like. And um, it really doesn't take too long to scroll through 2600 patterns you think it would but maybe about an hour or so so if you got a little extra time sometime just you know just scroll through it's fun to look at them um, and if you see one you kind of like um, like this one if you just kind of hover over it it will make the picture larger and if you really like it like this one here, isn't that cute? If you if it's one that you're really interested in, go ahead and click on it. And it will give you more information. Like right here, it tells you who the designer is, your price. You can select if you want it downloaded, a regular chart, a large chart, or they will mail it to you so you can get hard copy. So, and then down here a little farther, it gives you the finished design size. 
um, how many floss colors there are. There are 90. Let me scroll in just a little bit. And there's 17 pages for the regular format, 23 for the large. Um, again, it tells you who the designer is. And you can click on this right here. And it will show you all the colors of floss that it uses. So if you want to check that out, and then just close this. Let me move this up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. But right up here, just close that page, and it'll take you back to where you were. Now if you want to see the chart, let me scroll out again. Now if you want to see the chart even larger, you're like, oh, that's cute. Click on the image and it will make it even larger yet so you can see more details of the pattern. So, and then there down here in the corner is a little tiny X so you can just close out of there and you're back to your page. Now if this is something that you think, mm, someday I might want to order this, you just click on, I usually just pick the regular chart format and I click add it to my wish list. And right up here it says um, it was su successfully added. And I have about, oh, maybe 18, 19 pages of items that I have saved. Um, now if you really like this designer, you can click on his name right here and it'll take you to all of his designs. And he has 284 designs. So again, if you're searching for just mini patterns, you can click the M and it will take you to, of course, all the ones that begin with M. But then if you scroll, see here's where the mini start. Mini, mini. Here's all his minis. So you can kind of scroll through and see if you like any of those. But I am just going to hit my back button to go back to where I was. Oop. I needed to go back one more. I'm going to hit my back button one more time. One more time. Okay, one more time. <laughs> okay, so now I'm back to where I started where all the minis are. So like I said, you can just scroll through here, see which ones you like. You know, like I said, just kind of ho hover over them and make them bigger. Now if you see one that you like, like this one, and you know for sure you want to buy it, just you know, select what format you want and just hit Add to Cart and it'll go right into your shopping cart. Now the mini designs, they're, they're usually about 250 by 350 somewhere in that area. You know, 9 inch by 13 inch, you know, 10 to 12 inch designs somewhere in there. So, you know, a little more manageable. Um, if you think you want to try a heaven and earth design. Let me see. I'm just thinking of what else I want to tell you here. Now you do want to watch, like see here's a mini, and it's the material pack. That is actually, if you want to buy the whole thing, you can select what, um, count you want, 18 count, etc. Um, it, it includes all the flosses, so you can just buy the whole kit if you want. So that's also an option. So just lots of pretty designs. Like I said, you can just take an hour or two and um, scroll th 
through these and see which ones you like. Add them to your wish list. And we'll go from there. So I think I'm going to go through and pick out a couple designs and add it to my cart. And then I will show you how to check out and download your patterns. Actually, I think I'm going to show you one more thing real quick. They also have what's called quick stitches. And they also have story keeps. Story keep. So you can do that the same way. And there's also another one. It's called ornament. Let me just type that in real quick too. Ornament. These are all um, smaller patterns. So I typed in ornament and then I am going to go to the O's just like I did the minis. See and it brings up all the ornaments. So again these are small patterns. If you want to try a heaven and earth design this might be um, something good to start with. And again it, it gives you let's click on this one. Isn't that pretty? It gives you the approximate size, how many floss colors. Usually Heaven and Earth designs there are about 90 floss colors in them. So then you just click your back button to go back where you were. And let me just do a story keep real quick too. These are like bookmarks. They're tall and skinny. So I'm going to the S's for the story keeps and like okay so here's where they start story keep and again you can just kind of scroll over it to make the picture bigger if you can't quite tell this one she's a lady stitching and again it tells you the Approximate size. This one's 8 inch by about 15 inches on a 25 count fabric. Has 88 colors. So again, I am going to go through and pick out a couple designs and I will be right back. Oh, one more thing to pick out my designs. I'm going to go up here to my wish list. And that is where I have saved all the um, products that I like. I have 174 in there right now. And you can always go through, and I am actually going to delete this one because this is a full size version. And they actually have a mini one out now. It's just a little farther. I've already saved it. See right here, mini. Because, um, like I said, I, I don't think I'd ever get a big one done. But the minis are a possibility. There's that one I just saved. So you can just go through here and say I want to order this one. You can just click on it. Maybe right here, more info. And then I can select which... Um, format I want and then just add it to my cart. So that is what I'm going to do right now. Okay, I'll be back. When you look at your wish list, it will tell you if you've previously ordered an item. So that way I just leave them on my wish list and then that way I know I have already ordered that item. Another thing to uh, be careful of right here it says max colors I ordered this chart and I will never ever stitch it because max colors means there are 240 colors in this chart I just I don't know I wasn't paying attention when I ordered it it's very pretty but I will like I said never stitch that so, another thing you can do in your wish list, right here, you can rate um, 
if you really must have this, you can change this to must have and then hit update and it will save it. And then when you go to search, right up here, you can click on name and click, I think it's priority because, yeah, because this is what it is, it's priority. So you can click on priority and then it'll bring up um, all these must-haves. It'll bring those up first. That way you don't have to look through your whole wish list. You, you'll know right away that um, if a sale comes on or something, you can just go there, order your items that you want uh, very quickly. I have mine um, sorted by name. So it's alphabetically. So the standard is like to have. That's just um, the ge generic one that it goes to and I usually just leave it at that. But you can change it if you want to. The other thing, um, searching through your wish list, I have like 18 pages and you can certainly go page by page and search through here but you can also click these three little dots and it will take you five pages at a time so now I'm on pages 11 through 15 and 6 through 10 and it, it the dots are on both sides so you can click either one that way if you want to jump several pages at a time you can click on that Okay, so I am going to go up here to my shopping cart and you can just kind of um, hover over it and it'll bring up what's in your cart. But I am actually going to click on it and that'll bring up what I have placed in my cart. I have seven items in there right now, $41.50. I'm not going to order that many. I am just going to select, kind of narrow it down a little bit. I am one. I do want to get a quick stitch. I have never got one of those before, so I am going to order that one. And let me show you real quick. When I pull this up, instead of the designer, it says quick stitch cart charts, and it'll take you. To all the quick stitch charts and these are usually a portion of like these are a portion of a stitch in time it's just a small section of it that way if you don't want to do the whole chart you can just stitch a portion of it all right so I'm going to go back to my shopping cart and so I am going to keep this one, the quick stitch, and then I know I'm going to keep this one, the mini bouquet, because I've had my eye on that one for a while. So I think I'm just going to um, get one more. So I this one is very pretty. I probably won't order it this time. So you can just hit, I'm going to change the quantity to zero, refresh, that'll take that one out. So I think I'm going to stick with the quick stitch, I think I'm going to keep the nativity. Um, there's a whole series of these bookshelf ones, I love those, I have a couple of those already. Oops, somehow I got two in there. Anyway, I'm going to change that to zero. Take that one out. And this is another bookshelf one. I'm going to take that one out. So I am going to stick with these three. My total is 1750 There's also a delete button over here that and click on that and delete it but okay so now I am going to should be a place down here you can continue shopping or you can check out 
but I am done. So it had my name and address. It asked for how you were going to pay. So you enter that information and then um, it'll give you one last overview to make sure um, your order is correct. And then you just hit confirm order. Then it will bring you to this page with some general information. And then right down here are my three items that I ordered. Um, it looks like you can transfer to a friend. I've never done that, but I think you enter their email address and you can send it to them. But I, you can log off, but I go ahead and I download my items uh, before I even log off. I think you have I'm not sure, maybe two weeks to download your items and then after that they are gone. So there is a time limit to download them. So my mini bouquet, I'm going to click download now. And on my computer, right down here, a file popped up. And it's probably different on um, you know different computers but anyway here's my file and I won't um, scroll through it all but um, you know it gives you your floss colors and just all kinds of information so I am going to go right up here let me move this up I am going to go right up here to this download button and I have a file on my desktop. Oh, let me get to it. it I have a cross stitch file. Uh, Heaven and Earth Design. H-E-H-A-E-D. And these are a lot of the ones I have ordered. They also have free ones. Just on that home page, just click on free designs. I've downloaded the downloaded many of those so anyway it already popped in the name for me and I am just gonna hit save and that's how easy it is to download so back up here you can go see here's where and I can close that if I want and then I'm back to the screen where I was so I can download my next one. And down here, another file popped up. Right down here. So I'm going to click on that and open it. And then right up here in the corner, I'm going to hit my download button. And I am already in my HAED file on my desktop so I just hit save so I got one more to download I will go ahead and do that um, my advice is to save this file in many many places I have it saved on my husband's desktop I send myself an email and I attach the file so then I can open that email on my computer and save it to my computer. I can open it on my iPad and I can save it to my iPad. And of course you can always um, print it out. Um, right up here is the print button. It is 23 pages. So you can certainly print your pattern and I have done that before. Um, let me see if I can grab my notebook real quick. Hold on. Okay, so here is one that I printed out. It's the Fireside Embroidery. I think this was the first pattern that I ordered. I just love this pattern. Um, and I got this these just plastic notebooks at um, the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And then I just took a permanent marker, wrote it on here. Um, this is... Like I said, I ordered the large size before I realized there was minis out there. So this one has the large size pattern in it and the mini. You know, and just Kim Jacobs. 
I just write the information on here. These are the originals. That's, wow, that's when I purchased it. The full-size one, now the mini one I got not too long ago. But anyway, I printed it out and, and uh, put it in this notebook. So there's several of them I have printed out. Um, not all of them. But that way you can just work off the chart if you want to, if you want to use a highlighter. Uh, but I will get into that more later, um, I think. That's maybe all I want to tell you for this time. Oh, I did order um, these charts, uh, charts. I just ordered the regular format. Let me see if I can get back there. Does it say... I just, it's the first selection um, on your, when you go to select what format you want because I am going to load these in, like I said, that easy PDF um, app. It's a, it's not very expensive. I think when I bought it, it was like $4 and it works wonderful with these charts. So, I will show you that in the next video on how to upload your file into the app and use that app. Um, but I think, I know there's another app, I can't remember the name of it right offhand. A lot of people use it, but you have to have Android or something. Pattern Keeper. I know that's a real popular one that people use, but... Um, this easy PDF one is very wonderful. So anyway, I'll show you that in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions, uh, just put them in the comments below. I will try to answer. But this was just kind of quick overview on how to order a mini pattern from Heaven and Earth Designs. All right, thanks so much for watching, and I will be back soon. Bye want to insert this quick little video. These already say download expired. I think I've downloaded them, I don't know, maybe three times. You can only download them so many times. But right down here at the bottom, you can see where my file is, where I downloaded it. So I just open it and then right up here in this corner up here is my download button i'm going to click on that and it's going to open a window and from this point you can save it anywhere you want i am going to click on desktop and it already names the file okay so here is my file i downloaded to my desktop so i am going to take my mouse right click I'm going to hit Hover Over New, go to Folder, and it pops up a folder, and then you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it Cross Stitch, and just click off of there, and then grab your file with left click, grab it, drag it, drop it in there. And store all your files in here or wherever you want to store them. Just open it up and there's my file. There's many ways to save it to your desktop. Um, it would take quite a while to show you all the ways but um, just select how, where you want to save it and that'll work.